All right, I don't really need to call the Adrestia. Rocks of Greens. That's probably exactly how that's pronounced. No doubt about that. I want to change it a day before I synchronize so it looks better on a thumbnail. Yeah, there's no cool glare going on this time. No cool reflection of the moonlight across the water. So daytime it is, and I'll make a clearer thumbnail for like the one or two people that ever watch us. <laughs> All right, let's synchronize. Oh, look, a whale. Didn't I have to sink Athenian ships for the one guy and that one cult quest that I guess I didn't really need to anymore since I took out the cult member anyway without needing to do that. But is that still a quest that I have is sinking some ships? Whatever. Okay, so in a pirate camp, huh? Pirate coast camp. That's got to be this. It's the only thing that that can be, right? Surely. But yeah, so in total for the frag schedule, there's going to be this legacy of the first blade, either Partners in Time or Metroid Prime 2. I would like to do Journey because I wanted to do it during Mega Lan and didn't have the time to, and it's only like a two hour game and people say it's amazing. So that should be super easy peasy. Uh, Maybe like the post game stuff of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And then that's probably enough stuff to be set in stone is like for sure going on. Oh, and Smash Ultimate, of course. The Smash Ultimate tournaments that I'm running. So like five things that are for sure going on. Uh, that's probably enough. I probably don't want to add anything else as like guaranteed that I'm going through because that's already quite a decent bit to take up that time. So then maybe the extra time that I'd have would just be other ongoing playthroughs that I can put some more time in. Like, maybe some post-game of Unicorn Overlord. Or maybe I want to play some Persona 3 Tactica. Sorry, Persona 3 Reload. Persona 5 Tactica is the thing that I'm going to finish off here soon. Or maybe some more of this game. By doing more of the blue quests and stuff. Like, I do have options for just other filler things that I can do. I'm not going to have any lack of games that I'm going to be able to play at Frag by any means. Best stay out of sight. So, I need a talk? And he's being held captive, it looks like. Maybe I was wrong. Probably just a bird. But Probably just a bird. Oh, lots of people are coming over here. Oh, never mind. I did start... Whoops. I guess I needed to critical assassinate. Or not. <laughs> I did start writing. Shut! You're trying to be stealthy here. Who's doing that? I did start writing in the schedule channel. Like, whoops. If I lock onto you, then... I did start writing... Oh. Without a trace, kill enemy... T kill 10 enemies using the death availability. I just got a steam achievement. Anyway. What I've been trying to say for the past 20 seconds. I... Oh, I guess I didn't need to critical assassinate him. Is that I started writing in the schedule channel about the things that are for sure going on at Fragapalooza. And then maybe like scheduling things for different days, but I was like, huh, maybe it's a little early to be setting stuff in stone. So, and then I deleted it. Like I can set in stone the time for the Smash tournaments, because obviously, once that gets properly sorted out. Is someone trying to mess with me? But yeah, that's what things are looking like. Well, phone a friend, how about? Well, I phoned a friend on the dog. Well, uh, feels bad, but thank goodness it's just in a video game. Hi, how are you doing? Hi there. Whoa. Well, I would have kicked him into the waters, but oh well. You wink. Hi. Free prisoner. So I was wrong, right? Stay close. I'll get you out of here. But are they still going to apologize and make up and I don't have to reload save? Like, it's not going to be a bad ending because I chose wrong. I wonder if I would have been able to actually figure out for sure what the right answer was if I had just paid more attention instead of rambling about Metroid Prime 2 and Mario and Luigi Partners in time. Oh, we were investigating the area. <laughs> I do wonder. Hi. Where is Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed it was the other guy. Uh, the others. Not another word from you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. 
Once you've dealt with Mistor, you need to leave for good. Samos won't need you any longer. Neither will I. You know what needs to be done now, right? Hello, young lady. What needs to be done now is... That feels kind of bad. So... Southern... What time is it now? 2.24? Where? Hold on. Southern Spore Raids. I don't know where this is. Yeah, that's definitely a bad end. I don't want that. Hold on. Maybe 205? It's 220 to 224. It's 224 right now. That is too early. So maybe this one is before I said who it is. Maybe. Maybe I would have figured that out if I was just paying more attention. Yeah, okay. I gotta do this over again, but that's fine. Get a better ending. Yeah. <laughs> Kill everyone inside here. I have finished killing everyone inside because it's an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> I love how you're just facing the wall super conveniently for me. Probably didn't really need to critical assassinate you. All right, banish to the Shadow Realm. Oh, I did not need your torch. That's going to alert these guys. Can I chain assassinate? They're farther away from each other now. But they're all standing, like, in odd places facing away from me like weirdos. Right up your bum. Free colonoscopy for you. My dad's actually getting a colonoscopy tomorrow. Hopefully he doesn't watch these streams. I'll just... <laughs> guess what happens when we automatically presume the asshole is a villain? Yeah, I guess so. so this That's why I figured made more sense. Okay, we don't need to see that again. I don't know why I turned off my camera for that cutscene when we've seen that before. <laughs> I'm actually gonna pay attention and see if it uh Oh, he says that's close to the style Theodoros uses. Why would his writings be here? Why would his writings be here? That implies that it's him. I didn't take them for the heirloom type. And I was wrong. I'm in the middle of, I'm locked in here! Oh, can I Oh my god. I phoned a friend in time. But it literally implies it's the jerk with the evidence that's in the cave and it's not him. I guess evidence can be planted. Yeah, why would poetry like his be here? I guess you do be right. Maybe the guy that was just all friendly with us want. Whoa, I was spamming the dodge button, but if they knock you down, then there's quite a bit of cooldown time before you can dodge. So sometimes if you get knocked down, it's just a death sentence in nightmare mode. because They just two shot you. I have to do this whole cave over again because some random mercenary came in to murder me. Not even any of the guys in the cave. Oh my God. <laughs> Game. The amount of trouble bounty hunters have given me in this game. I guess I could just pay off bounty with monies. Like, wherever the prompt for that is. But whatever. Okay, just... Okay. I don't want that. I just want the loot. But it's the same button. Their position has changed, but they're still facing away from me. So, like, the game clearly wants you to just assassinate them all. It's... They're just standing, staring at the wall away from me. Just set up for the player to... Why did I not one-shot that time? What? That's weird. Why am I on fire? I wasn't even standing in the fire. That torch just... Okay, just... Ah! I swear, if this sets me on fire too, I'm gonna lose my mind. Is this what we're locked into now? <laughs> wow. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, that. Yes, that. Well, that was Assassin's Creed combat at its finest, let me tell you. 
That was some pinnacle Assassin's Creed combat gameplay. I didn't take the followers of Ares to be loved. Okay, the dude's coming into the You're cave. This come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let me phone a friend. Ooh, I actually managed to phone a friend this time. Oh, but that's the time that he was turning back and starting to leave. Well, I guess I'm killing him now. Well. And it's time we beat him up super fast. I should have got my adrenaline back off of him. Oh, well. It's fine. I recognize these names. They're all quite influential on Samus. But Missos is missing. But Mestors is missing. They're all influential on Samos, but Mestors is missing. Okay, so that's what implies the nice guy. Hmm. Okay. I didn't take them for the heirloom type. Family crest. Family sigil. Whatever. Our family sigil. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. Call that. And then Samos is in danger. I'll say it. Persia wants to take Samos. Just to see the dialogue right. we didn't before. It's close enough to places like Athens and Sparta, but small enough to not draw their attention. Makes sense. Unfortunately, that's not the worst part. Then what is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't. Yeah, they would need someone to help them. Influence on it was it. It's Mestor. It's Mestor. He brought the followers of Ares here to help Persia. I was afraid you'd say that. But I know you must be right. I guess he was afraid I'd say either or, but I know you must be right. I need Although I was wrong before. We still need to talk to Theodorus. Is another mercenary here? As can the promise of power. It's free, this random lady. I know you want to understand it all, but we don't always get the answers we seek. All right, I'm letting you out. Free this random guy. Yeah, I may as well complete the location while I'm here. We give me the thing. There we go. And I got to exit the restricted area before I can fast travel. Doink. Okay. So now we're going to get the good end, right? I know I want to get through this like kind of ASAP what with my schedule being the way that is. Don't really want to take any extra time. But still, getting a bad end in a quest still just feels kind of bad. If I realize I made a bad decision, I can reload, do it again, and get the good end. Even if I get the same rewards at the end, I still want to get the good end. Just because it still feels kind of crappy seeing these characters not like one another. These completely fictional characters in a video game get like a bad ending. Where are they? But I needed the money. Nightmare difficulty in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'll follow you in oh my god, it didn't checkpoint me. Nightmare difficulty on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This area will be well defended. Doesn't matter if you have armor that is as high level as it can be for your current level and be a full set of legendary armor. Maxed out legendary armor, it doesn't matter. You make one mistake, you die. In a lot of cases. There are lots where you don't, but there are some you do during any crazy big spin multi-hit attacks of enemies and any time they knock you down. Or if they just do enough damage to one-shot you. In any of those three situations, you just die. Yep, vanish to the Shadow Realm. I've gone on this ramble before about how I think difficulty modes should have like some unique challenge to them. They should feel hard, but never darn near impossible. This always feels possible. Like it's the combat in this game is easy enough, but the difficulty is made artificial through the fact that you have to play so darn near perfectly for so long. It's not that hard, but 
I didn't take them for the, the fact that you have to do this perfect gameplay for so long is what makes it artificially hard. It's kind of like the difficulty of uh, Soulsborne games, in a sense, you could say. Except, it feels like enemies shred you faster here than in Soulsborne. Called Nightmare for a reason, I guess so. The description of the difficulty when I went into it when I first started this playthrough was like for those that want to know the pain of unrelenting torment or something like that was how the difficulty mode was described but it doesn't really feel like a meaningful difficulty mode when it's just like oh you made one mistake guess you probably just die like when I was rambling about this the last time I talked about the last of us part one and grounded difficulty where there's lots of different difficulty modes in that game and you, I think you can even go into the settings and toggle like basically anything on and off like customize the difficulty as much how you want which is really really cool and I think that there are harder difficulties that I could do than grounded if I just manually selected all sorts of things I think unless I'm getting mixed up with some other game but point is there was a lot of difficulty modes there was like very easy easy normal hard very hard survival which is just like the ultimate standard difficult like the hard the, the hardest standard difficulty mode and then there's grounded which is that but with things exclusive to grounded namely the fact that your ui is off you don't have ui anymore well apart from like the inventory like when you actually open it and switching your equipment with a d-pad like essentials but things like your health, your current equipped gun, or current equipped weapon, I should say, and how much ammo is in it, those aren't things that the game tells you normally. You can check your ammo by, uh, like, opening the actual inventory menu and checking it there, but as is on the field, that's not something you get. And when I first saw the description going into The Last of Us Blind and being like, huh, the UI is off? And, uh, listen mode is disabled, which is a mode that apparently lets you see enemies, like, through walls and stuff. I never experienced it, so, like, I played on Grounded. No, my- <laughs> Fuck this game! This difficulty mode, this is not a meaningful way to have a difficulty mode. The, you made one tiny mistake, guess you die, do the last several minutes over again. Uh, toughest difficulty mode, you're stuck playing as Shedinja. Yeah, that's the way that is on nightmare mode here. Except without Wonder Guard. Oh my god, these mercenaries. Do I have a thing in here of just payoff bounty? Is it on map? Payoff bounties. I've had enough. I'm paying money, they're not coming after me anymore. I don't want to redo this again. This is what I get for trying to be a nice guy. Getting the good ending. Where everyone is happy with one another and makes up. This is what I get for trying to be nice to fictional characters. Anyway, what the heck was I saying? Meaningful difficulty modes. Uh, and you had listen mode disabled. So you couldn't see dudos through walls. You had to actually, despite the fact that... It was called listen mode being disabled. Ironically, you had to actually listen. I don't think I could have played grounded mode on like a TV screen, just playing out of the speakers. But here on a monitor with good headset headphones on and my volume cranked way up to be able to hear where people are, it was actually really interesting. I had to actually just keep an eye out and actually really listen to figure out where people are and what their patrol routes are. And I would fail many times. But the checkpoints were typically like pretty generous and i would learn more going into it each time like i die i would die really fast it wasn't like a slow do 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 desynchronized loading screen back in like it would it would be very fast me being able to go back into the game and i would lose like not a whole lot of progress most of the time because the checkpoints were like pretty good i'd say you might so I was listening, I was watching and listening extremely carefully, paying very close attention, getting more information each time, doing a little bit better each time. And it was actually really fascinating. Like it changed the way that the game is played with you not having UI. 
and by needing to actually pay super close attention to figure out these routes that everyone is going on instead of just having the game basically tell you by being able to see them through walls. I don't understand why he do this. Like, it felt like a meaningful way to increase the difficulty by changing the manner in which the game is played instead of just everyone is a damaged sponge and you're gonna get one shot. Like, I didn't have a whole lot of health in grounded mode either, but I was never getting one shot or anything. Except by clickers, but that's just how clickers work. <laughs> case, best guess is the idea that you're supposed to be miserable playing on this mode due to it being a nightmare, I guess. But I enjoy playing games on the hardest difficulty on this channel when it's like done in a meaningful way. And I think The Last of Us is one of my favorite hardest difficulty modes. And Eagle, who had played Last of Us before, when he saw me on the starting screen, I was like, hmm, I usually play games on the hardest difficulty, should I hear? He was like, no, don't. I tried Grounded once. It's so hard. You shouldn't try it. I loved it. It was fantastic. When I eventually get to playing Last of Us Part 2 on this channel, I'm definitely playing it in Grounded mode again. No doubt. It was actually a really fun, meaningful gameplay experience to me, is the way that I found it. That was a way of hand... Oh. Oh, you're one of the guys I freed. That was, in my opinion, one of the ways that you can handle the hardest difficulty. There's a lot of games like this that handle hardest difficulty. It was just like, decrease the player's damage, increase the enemy's damage, decrease the player's health, increase the enemy's health. And that's how they do the hardest difficulty. But that's not really a meaningful challenge increase. Like, it's a challenge increase, sure. But it's not really meaningful, I don't think. When you do something that actually changes the way the game is played into a way that it needs to be played in a lot more difficult of a manner. That, to me, is meaningful. And I still distinctly remember in Last of Us Part 1, because it wouldn't show me my ammo when I'm playing. Like, oh my god, what is with the lag here? A lot of games, including that game normally, will show you on the UI the amount of ammo that's currently loaded into your gun and the amount of ammo that you have, like, in reserves. And then when you go into like the D-pad menu to like switch between your weapons, it shows you how much you have total. And it might show you how much is loaded there. I don't remember. But it does show you just how many bullets you have total for each thing, but not what's loaded. It's this screen here when you're actually playing that shows you what's loaded and what you have in addition to what's loaded. But when you have that off, you need to actually be keeping track of if you loaded your gun. And there were times that I would have some baddie rushing at me. I'd point my gun, I'd try to shoot, and it would just go click because it's not loaded. i go like, oh crap, I forgot to load my gun, and then get killed. And you could argue that that's a realistic experience. In real life, you would need to keep track of, did I remember to reload my gun after the last time that I shot? I thought that was actually really cool. Like, I was never mad about that. That was absolutely on me. And it was a meaningful change. And who is that? Nistor. He's in league with the Persians to take over Samos. Like, I think going to shoot in The Last of Us and finding that I forgot to reload has got to be one of the most damn I deserve that feelings I've ever felt in a video game <laughs> and laughing about it. Theodoros! And I, and I really liked that. It was so good. Like, I caught on, and then I didn't really make that mistake much at all for the rest of the playthrough. And when I play part two, I'm I know you can't probably not you going to run into that issue but much anymore. Because now I know that I gotta be right on that. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe I'll make that mistake once or twice. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistur. And I'm gonna have to re-get that viewpoint. But yeah, I think of meaningful hard difficulties. I think of that. It was so fun. It actually makes me really excited to play part two on this channel and play Grounded again. Because that's a hard difficulty I can get behind. But yeah, ironically enough, Superman 64 of all games try to make different difficulties feel different aside from sponging attacks. Interesting. Because whenever I hear about Superman 64, I always hear about what an awful game it is. Here, let's just do this. Maybe I should have done it on the guy with more health. Oh, well. I'll just annihilate them with overpower attacks anyway. So, the plus 30% damage to all abilities, that counts for overpower attacks too, right? 
And does this just count as a warrior ability? I wonder. Where would he be? There's a small cove on the east side of the island where she's yeah, so that Whoa. That was a cool, meaningful way to do difficulty. This here is, in my opinion, not. And I do like doing games on the hardest difficulty on this channel, and then when I give my full review at the end of a playthrough, I do it from the perspective of someone that played on the hardest difficulty. And was this a good hardest difficulty? Because the hardest difficulty, in my opinion, should feel like it's really hard, but never impossible. It should feel challenging, but never hopeless impossible. Or like you make one mistake and you just die. It shouldn't feel like that. And a really good hardest difficulty will change the way that you play the game in some sort of meaningful way, like grounded difficulty with The Last of Us that I really liked. That's when you got a really, really good hardest difficulty going on. My goodness, seems like they're having quite a fun time out there. It really reminds me of the ships in Assassin's Creed Black Flag going at one another while I'm getting synchronization points or dicking around on island. Same situation. But yeah, normal being how the game is remembered, while easy skips the ring segments to just focus on the objectives. Meanwhile, hard just removes the compass. Also, hard mode is the only difficulty that will let you beat the game? <laughs> Never said they did it well. <laughs> wow. But yeah, so that's what I, uh, that's what I feel about that. Ooh. Okay. Another example of a game that changes the way that's played is Unicorn Overlord. I wish that the dif hardest difficulty of that game wasn't locked to you need to beat the game once first. Like, at least it's the kind of game where you can face the final boss at any time. So I just did a file of easiest difficulty, but rush through, beat the final boss early, and then do my playthrough, like, on the actual hardest difficulty. That hardest difficulty makes it so that rather than allies being knocked out and just coming back after battle they are actually like down it basically makes fire emblem classic mode permadeath although a lot more lenient there are these really rare items that you can use to revive them they go into the retreated status and you can use these items to make them no longer retreat and they're back in your army and while they're rare items you can get infinite of them it's not like you're using a finite amount of consumables so no matter what you do or what you save well, unless you choose to kill someone in the story, but as long as you're not doing that, you're never going to find yourself in a situation where someone is permanently gone, is the case. So, it both makes the game harder in terms of just raw difficulty, while also changing how it's played in the sense of, like, whoa, it's a, whoa, now a lot worse of a situation letting someone fall. It's still not the end of the world, and it's still very generous with you letting letting you save anywhere. And then, uh, just being able to undo that that way. But let's say you do finish a battle and someone's unit goes down. Rather than them just being back after battle, you do need to use one of your... One of your consumable items that are on the rarer side. I wish that I did more to change the gameplay. Like, again, I really like how The Last of Us completely changed the way the game is played. I did play The Last of Us Part 2 with my family, just on a normal difficulty. And compared to Grounded, it was like the easiest thing ever. I was like, holy crap, this thing's a breeze. I mean, some things did still take me several attempts, like some of the crazier sections. But it was like, wow, on Grounded, this would take me like half an hour to 40 minutes, <laughs> most likely. From the perspective of compared to Grounded, it was a walk in the park, was the case. All right, and then you're here. So, I do have a little bit of a frame of reference for how it would normally be played. But yeah, that completely changed how the game was played. Unicorn Overlord does a bit. It doesn't completely reinvent the wheel. But they did try to make it so that, hey, it does play a little bit differently on the hardest difficulty. And I do respect them for doing that. Is the case. And, I mean, apart from that, the hardest difficulty... To, yeah, yeah, look, we're cooler. Apart from that, the hardest difficulty doesn't feel that that much harder than the next hardest difficulty, Expert Mode. Doesn't seem to be the case. But yeah, I mean, there's probably not as much that you would need to reinvent in a strategy game like that. But it's cool that they did try to do something, and I do respect them for that. It just sucks that you have to beat the game once to unlock it, and you can't just start playing the game like that. Because in terms of raw difficulty, it's... Who's annoyer in the hardest difficulty is not really all that much harder than expert, I found in my playing of it. So just leave it unlocked from the get go. 
It's dumb that you have to beat the game once. But yeah, don't some FE games have one time use rods that can revive units? Yep, some do. But they're finite. After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. So they're typically like one time items. You were right. I thought Mr. and I wanted the same thing. Look, we're cooler now. You were right. It hurts he did this. I know. I've treated you now. terribly. Yeah, look, they're cool Just now. Remind me of everything I didn't get to do. All I that have. effort. But you didn't deserve it. All and those mercenary kills. The gods, they have to the point that it imbued another hardest difficulty ramble in me. You did here. Just they to get the good ending. Brother today, but we found each other again. You know what look how cool they are with each other. Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No, I need to see him. I need to know why he did this. This difficulty mode got me so pent up that I went on, what is this now, the third or fourth? Something like that, hardest difficulty mode ramble during this playthrough at this point. Got me going down another one of those, all to get the good ending. <laughs> Make those guys like one another. <laughs> the things I do for fictional video game characters, huh? That's because it feels really crummy making people not like each other, getting bad endings when I could have gotten a good ending. Oh, there's no dialogue. We just come over here and fight, and he just watches. There's... I'm really surprised. I thought for sure there would be, like, some... Why are you doing this? What the heck? It's not even super tough. Where'd my guy go? Oh, he's down there now. Here. You want to come here? Oh, now I talked to him. I shouldn't have kicked him off. Gosh dang it. Also, no sound effect that time. Feels bad. I don't know why it doesn't just work sometimes. Oh, maybe because my CPU is being maxed out. Oh. <laughs> now it plays. Oh, man. Hi. <laughs> they are up here again. Okay, okay. You got me. And my ship is over there. After everything our family did for you, they took you in and you had them killed. Okay, so he's adopted. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. Uh, why did you need Theodorus? I tricked Theodorus into helping you. Allies are hard to come by, and Theodorus was more than willing. Uh, what are the Persians planning? The Persians are planning? I guess I'm not doing any more blue quests tonight. This took longer than expected. You think? How can you betray Samos? Samos. Your family. Not Your... everything is black and white. Sometimes people need others to make the best decision for them. And they're giving me Samos to rule. You've lost, Mestor. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. Oh, I hope you do. I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there. Pump my controller there. If you heard that little click, 